Hello and welcome to Shelter Mode, the premier YouTube channel for shipping container living. In today's episode, we bring to you a design video. We present to you Outbox 1280, a two-story single-family home designed using four 40-foot shipping containers. Stay tuned to find out more about this amazing modern container home design. Welcome back. Outbox 1280 is a two-story residential house designed using four 40-foot shipping containers. The shipping containers are stacked two on two in a cantilever design, creating a total of 1,280 square feet of living space. The containers are sheared horizontally to create a sheltered entrance porch and a big rooftop deck at the back. The containers sit on a raft foundation to elevate the modules away from moisture. And you are encouraged to check out our previous video on the five types of foundations you can use when building a shipping container house. Feel free to check out the video using the link in the description below. Depending on the climate of the region you intend to build, you can either have the design come with a two-car garage as shown or a carport for two cars. If you live in the tropical climate, a carport for two cars as shown would be appropriate. In this regard, the housing unit comes with an unconventional interior layout contrasting with the modern and industrial exterior aesthetic. The cantilevered containers on the first floor level creates a generous entrance porch. The front door opens into a central entrance lobby flanked with a home office, a powder room, a laundry room, and an open plan L-shaped layout kitchen on one side, while on the opposite side of the aisle, a single flight staircase with a wet jacket closet next to the landing. The ground floor level accommodates the living spaces, the most public spaces of the house. From the entrance lobby, on the extreme left, we have a home office, which can also function as a study room, depending on the need and the time of the day. Also have a sizable clock room, which can be used by the guests. Next to the kitchen is a sizable laundry space, which is big enough to accommodate a laundry sink, a washer, a dryer, and adequate storage space. On the extreme end of the two shipping containers, we have an open plan living space. The open plan living space accommodates an L-shaped kitchen in one corner, the kitchen space is adequately designed to accommodate all the kitchen essentials to make the space functional. We also have adequate overhead and under-the-counter storage to meet the storage needs. Next to the kitchen is a sizable dining table that can comfortably sit six. The space can also accommodate up to eight people depending on the need. On the extreme end is the lounge space by two sofa seats fronted by an entertainment unit on one end and defined by a floor mat. The lounge space is well lit and is fitted with full height sliding glass doors and the original container cargo doors retained in the original position to serve as shutter doors during emergencies or for security purposes. The living room is painted white to make the space appear brighter and bigger, helping to create that illusion of a big space. 
On the opposite end of the aisle of the central lobby is a single flight staircase to a central lobby space. From the central lobby, you are able to access all the spaces accommodated on this particular story. This story accommodates the private spaces of the house, which mainly comprises of the bedroom spaces. From the central lobby, there is a small bedroom, which can be used as a children's bedroom. We also have a common space which can serve as a second bedroom or a family room. On the extreme end, we have a master suite which accommodates a king-size bed, a sizable wardrobe space, a dressing area, and a master bathroom. The master suite has access to its private balcony facing the front of the house. The second bedroom has unfitted access to a covered rooftop deck facing the back garden. The rooftop deck is good and ideal for family activities and private family functions. To add some interest on this particular story, the roof to the carport or the garage can be planted by a green roof to enhance its aesthetic appeal. Just like any other conventional building, proper insulation is essential for any container house. You are encouraged to do proper insulation dictated by the climate of the region you intend to build. If you are living in the cold or the temperate regions, you need to use an insulation material that has got good R values and also good moisture barrier properties. If you live in the tropics, keep away heat from your house as much as possible. On the exterior materials, feel free to explore what is appropriate depending also on the region where you intend to build. In this particular design, we have two different exterior finishes. On the ground floor level, the shipping containers have retained the original colors and if possible, the corrugations to bring out the industrial language of the house design. On the first floor level, however, the entire house is cladded with timber to bring out a modern touch to this particular design. We also have adequate outdoor living spaces to complement the rather limited indoor living spaces because of the constricting dimensions of shipping containers. We have a generous entrance porch under the cantilevered containers on the front of the house. We also have a sizable outdoor deck at the rear of the building accessible directly from the lounge or the living room. On the first floor level, we have a rooftop deck, which is accessible from the second bedroom. They can also be used as a family room. The master suite has got its own private outdoor sitting space in form of a Juliet balcony facing the front of the house. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us by posting in the comment section below. So which part of this design appeals to you the most? Kindly give us your opinion by posting in the comment section below. If you want to purchase blueprints for this amazing design, you can contact us on our website sheltermode.com. For these and more amazing shipping container designs and projects from around the world, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel for amazing weekly videos on shipping container living. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. If you like our content, give us a thumbs up or your opinion by posting in the comment section below and feel free to share this video. If you want to learn more about shipping container living, please subscribe and remember to click the notification bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. If you have a shipping container project or a container rental, you can have it featured on our YouTube channel 
absolutely free. Kindly get in touch on our website sheltermode.com or contact us at sheltermode on all social media pages. Without further ado, let's get started.